Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can create a team in Microsoft Teams using Power Automate. And the request we will take for this, we will create a Microsoft Forms where users will go and submit the uh, details like what is the team title, description they want to create. And after that, we will also check if the, there is any duplicate like any previously created teams are there. For that, there is no direct approach to do it. Instead, what we will do is we will create a SharePoint list. And in that SharePoint list, I will make the, uh, the primary column or the team uh, name column as unique column so that any duplicate values will not enter it. So I'll go through the entire demo step by step in the laptop itself. But, but if you want to check, also I have uh, written a complete tutorial on the same. I'll put the link in the video description for from where you can go and check it. So that is also contain exactly the step by step how I have created the form, how I have created the uh, SharePoint list with the, what are the settings I have done. And then finally I have shown how we can create the uh, flow using Microsoft Power Automate. And if you are first time to the channel, subscribe to the channel so that you will get notified whenever I will make useful videos like this in the channel. So now let me go to the system and I will explain you step by step uh, from creating the forms to creating the flow. Okay, as you can see here, this is uh, Microsoft Forms I will open here, all the apps you can see here. The first thing we will do is I will help you in creating a form here so, so that user will you know submit the details for creating uh, a team in microsoft teams so i'll click on new form and in this i'll give a name for this form uh, is important let's say i'll say team creation form i'll give this name and then i'll add uh, a single line of text which will be team name and then i'll add another one which will also team description so i'll take these two things and then uh, you can see here the form is auto saved so if you'll save it now i'll just refresh it once now you can see here team creation form this is the form that we have created it now next thing is i'll create a sharepoint list so if you'll go here i'll create a list uh, the list let's say i'll say uh, teams creation a request okay and uh, on this i'll say create so why we did this because i don't want any duplicate team to be created so here we will try to um, add it so that um, i'll do the configuration for title column so what will happen is when user will submit if there is a duplicate column then it will not allow it now what i'll do here is i'll add another text column let's say i'll give a team description okay uh, you can see here but the important thing here is the title column uh, which is the team name you can rename it but another settings that you have to do is go to the list settings and uh, click on this column title column and uh, make this as a uh, unique column so that you can see here enforce unique values as I did it and click on ok so now what exactly will happen is whenever user will submit a form uh, through the microsoft forms then uh, the data will be saved here but if any unique uh, if any duplicate values will come like which is they are already exist in this list so it will not take it and uh, ultimately when you will create a uh, team uh, by using another flow action then it will not since the item will not be added here so it will not create that so that's how we can avoid creating duplicate teams okay so now what i'll do is i will go to uh, make dot power automate dot com and we will start creating our flow on this so i'll click on create and then you can see here automated cloud flow i'll give a name for it team creation flow and you can see here the action when a new form is a uh, new response is submitted this is a microsoft form uh, forms trigger so that means this will trigger whenever a new response will come uh, to the form which will select after which form we are talking about so now click on create so once you click on create now you can see here now it is taking uh, some time just to reflect it now you can see here 
so what it is showing is uh, the parameter invalid parameter because we have not set any parameter yet so for that what we will do is i'll click here and i'll kick the form so if you'll see here uh, the form that we created now is you can see here team creation form create teams application it is the previously i have created so the form is team creation form i'll go here i'll choose team creation form so this is the form basically whenever a response will come you can see uh, this form so it will take it next i'll add another action next what we will do here is i will get the response from it so first that is the thing we'll do we'll do it so there will be a get response details this one you can see here now on this what is the form id team creation form and the response id just go here and list up responses so you take it right and next what we will do is first thing we will do is we will add a item to the sharepoint list why it is because just to avoid the duplicacy thing we are adding it if you don't care about uh, the duplicacy thing i you, you want that whenever whatever the user will give you want to create on that name because it will it can create duplicates so that is the thing so i'll click on this add an action and then i will search for create item which is for the sharepoint list of course uh, you can see here create item and on this select the site in this case my site is sp guides uh, this one and the list name is teams creation request so if you'll see here it will show me all the list i will select here team creation request so and uh, so what is the value that we want to add it here uh, if you will see here we have two columns here important columns are there title and description which we required on this so i will select it and then uh, from the response only i will take team name for the title column and for the description i will take a uh, team description look at here right if you want to uh, take who is the sender or the who provide the response you can do that while sending the email i will tell you that thing so now this is this will add the item remember we set the uh, title column that it will only accept unique values so if any duplicate values will come an error will come right so next i will first thing is i will search a send an email so send an email v2 i will take this one in this uh, go to the configuration and then you see here on the create item this flow action if any error occurred right so i want to send the email that means this will trigger only if there is an error occurred in this create item this is very important so what we want to do here is i want to uh, send an email probably we will send an email to the uh, you can add the any email id or i want the responder email id right who submitted the form that email id i'll take it so just i'll say error occurred while creating team like this i'll say same message i will put it here right and then uh, any other settings will do will not do anything for uh, this one now next what i'll do is i will add a parallel branch so in this parallel branch what i'll do is i will use my create team um, you see here create team uh, flow action i'll use create a team so now this one will will help us to create the team so in this case i'll say the team name so the team name we will take from the create item title and the team description will take from create item description now why this because uh, we want only the unique values to be created so that's the reason i'm taking from here i am not taking directly from the form response because form response can contain duplicate values as well and we already said like if any error occurred then here it will go if not then this will trigger so that's the reason we created a parallel flow action and next once it is successful probably i'll send another email so send an email you can choose here we'll do the same thing like i will uh, set uh, this for the responder email i'll say team created successfully right i'll do this i will do this now this way it is done i'll save this so just to give you overview user will submit the form will take the responses 
then create item will add the items based on the title and description or the team name and description you can say and then if any or error will occur that is the case when the duplicate values will come then send email will trigger and then else the parallel action a team will be created and then you can see here uh, send an email will be there right so now what i'll do here is i will go here to the form let's say team creation form this is this is the form basically so i will just open it let me just open it as like a user which we are doing i will say team uh, by bj i'll take this i'll give the same description here i'll submit it so now you see here team uh, this one is submitted let me see if it is adding here you can see here it is added here and let you can see here title and description are populated properly now look let me see the email now you can see here the email it is coming this one the latest one you can see here team created successfully right uh, so in this case this is a previous email don't look at it though you can see here team created successfully now if i'll go to the teams let's say i will open the team here so the team name should come as uh, teams by bj you can see here the last one you can see team by bj which is created right so now let's go and uh, uh, i'll go to submit another res response and i will do the same thing here now look at here i have done the same thing i'll click on submit again now once i click on submit again this time if you'll show here now you can see here the error came as it is you know error while creating the team why because this time it didn't create it instead uh, and also you'll, you'll see that no item has been added here as well right because we have checked that if uh, you know this is the case will execute because duplicate value will try to go to the SharePoint list item and the error will come here right so you can see uh, all the flow history you can see it here uh, on the flow page you can see here the first one you can see here the error occurred on this right so one time is successful second one it gave an error so uh, you know this is how we can create a team in Microsoft Teams based on the form response you can even create as only from the SharePoint list you can do it I just tried to create a form so that a normal user any user from your organization can go to the form they can submit it and uh, this way you can create a teams and avoid the duplicate creation of the teams so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our channel and you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, Microsoft 360 Power Power Platform, SPFX, all these technologies you will get it free. So thank you and have a nice day.